Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Crystal with the Healing Soul of Tarot. Um, glad to be here. Brand new channel, just trying to get things up and running, but I'm very excited. Uh, things seem to be working well. Um, readings are getting posted and I just appreciate everyone's patience. Um, this is a passion of mine. I'm a Pisces, so if some of you are a Pisces as well and you watch other readings, you know that the divine has been speaking to us and asking us to share our gifts. So as an empath, a Wiccan, a tarot reader for about 30 years, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And I'm just excited to finally have gotten over my fear and here I am. So anyway, um, yesterday's reading was about snakes and rats. Um, and if you haven't seen it, please go back and check it out. But that reading for the collective talked about individuals in our lives, snakes and rats, either with venom or nibbling at our heels, are individuals that could be holding us back from the success and abundance um, that we seek uh, in life. So I'm just curious, I wanted to dig more into what the, that situation was, who are these snakes and rats, what's their agenda, um, and just get some more information and guidance from the divine, okay? So before we do anything else, uh, please remember that this is a collective reading. Not everything will apply to you, but just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? So let's clear the energy. And I just ask everyone to quiet your heart, take a deep breath, and just mind your ears if your ears are a little sensitive, okay? So here we go, deep breath in. So let's get started, okay? Ancestor spirit guides angels and higher beings. Please come forward and explain more about who these snakes and rats are in our lives. Who are these individuals or situations that are holding us back on our life journey? And please provide advice or give us advice um, about how we can surpass these problems and obstacles. But please tell us who these individuals are and how we can move past, okay? All right, first couple of cards that popped out. We have the hangman and the magician. So with the hangman, it's always about just seeing things differently. So maybe um, with this situation with these individuals, we have to just look at it in a different light. I'm getting the sense that uh, maybe we just have to not even give them any more consideration, okay? Just not even feed into it, um, whoever these individuals are, just start seeing it a different way. And the, with the magician card, you know, the magician card is always about having skills or the talent to get through this. Now, in yesterday's reading, we saw a lot of magic. Um, if you haven't seen that video called Snakes and Rats, please go and check it out. But in that video, a lot of, of um, magic came out we were talking about using herbs to protect yourself so here's the magician card again okay so but basically saying you have the skills and whatever it is that you need to protect yourself against these people so please don't see them as a threat i don't think they are a threat i don't think they can threaten you anymore um <clears throat> but just you got to see it in a different light and you are able to get there. Let's see what else we have. The Ten of Wands. This whole situation may have been a burden, something that you've had to handle kind of on your own, carrying all this weight on your shoulders, but you're still going, you're still moving forward, still dealing with this situation. Recognize your strength. The hangman is saying, you know, see it in a different light. Give yourself credit for having handled this situation. Maybe you're handling on your handling this situation with these snakes and rats and individuals, you know, negative situations on your own. But that takes a strong person. 
okay, to be able to do that. So give yourself a little bit of credit. There's stuff from the past, okay? It could be a reconciliation of some sort, but there's something from the past here. And we'll get more, more detail. It could be a person or a past situation or a former way of being, but let's just see what we got. It's like spying. We're spying on the snakes and the rats, getting two or three steps ahead of them. So the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is about abundance, okay? Um, having a happy home life. This is what you're working for. You know, you've been struggling, carrying such a burden, but what you want in the end is, is you know, a happy home, stability for your family, okay? See it a different way. It's, I also read directionally, as I've said before, so with the Ten of Cups under the hangman, you know, see, this, this is just a challenge. See it as a different way, an end means to get to where you want with the Ten of Cups, okay? With the stability and, and a happy family, a committed family, okay? We've got the Page of Swords. Now, sometimes the Page of Swords can mean sort of delayed news um, or a problem with the child, um, but it's usually a youthful energy. So, like I said, we'll get into that a little bit more. Maybe you're expecting news to come in, expecting maybe some news to come in about something from your past. Maybe these people that were holding you back are from your past. But we have the moon. And the moon is about dreams, okay? Um, illusions, things that are unseen. But these are your dreams, and you don't know how this situation is gone, going to end, maybe, um, because it's all that's unseen. You can't see sometimes in the dark, but you're still hoping and dreaming, okay, for this abundance. Just maintain hope. It's under the burden card. So, yeah, it, it, things may be a burden, but just, you know, it, even though you're uncertain, keep your faith in the divine, okay? We're not always meant to see what is at the end of our journey. Um, sometimes the lesson is about the journey itself, okay? So we're not necessarily meant to see the end result. Maybe this is a test or a challenge to ourselves to just whatever it is in the past that's caused these burdens, these snakes, these rats, maybe the challenge is just to get over it, to put it behind you. And I know that can be easier said than done, but you have the skills and the ability to um, put this behind you, whatever these burdens from the past are that you're carrying. And we have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a new venture or a new way of life. And yesterday's reading, you know, we talked about a rebirth. Okay, so here it is. You're hoping for a rebirth. These burdens from the past. I think the snakes and rats could be people you knew previously, um, maybe in the past, but we'll get some more detail, okay? Um, I'm going to use my Mildred Payne's Secret Pocket Oracle. I really like this oracle. I used it yesterday and I just think it's really good. It gives really clear messages, um, concise messages. So it's really good for doing half hour readings for, for YouTube when I use this little card. So it keeps me on track. So I don't just keep running off on a tangent. But let's see what this hangman is about. What is this hangman about? What do we need to see to forget? Oops. Okay, so these snakes and rats, they bring poison. And yesterday's reading, we had the antidote. So we know that you in the collective have the ability and the skills to deal with this. But you have to start seeing these people, if you have them in your life, they are poisoning. They're bringing poison into your life and negative energy, okay? And maybe this is what you need to see. You need to figure out who these folks are so that you can get the poison out of your life. Okay, 
Yeah, we have the broom, sweeping things clear. The broom is important in Wiccan traditions to sweep out negative energy, so here it is. Okay? You gotta sweep out that poison. Time to get rid of it, time to move on. Okay? Tell me more about this hangman. I find that doing these videos, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because I'm still slightly nervous, but my shuffling is terrible. I don't normally shuffle like this, but I feel like I'm fumbling. And I think it's just nerves. Okay, here we got the snakes again. Yeah, time to get rid of the snakes. They came up yesterday. All right, so just see it differently. Time to clear these people out, this situation out. Okay, they are poison. What is this magician about? The stump. You have the ability to change this, change the situation, grow from it, learn from it. You know, the stump has been cut down, but its roots are still in the ground and trees will always send nutrients to dead stumps in order to help them grow. So this is really what you're trying to do. I think manifest something new in your life, create something new, clear out the negative energy for this rebirth. Um, sometimes it can mean that you're stuck in a situation, um, but I think in this case it's really about moving forward, okay, and having a rebirth. Here, coin, abundance. So yes, you do have the ability. You're focused right now on your abundance and your regrowth. No time for snakes. Stay focused, okay? It's just no time for these people. Um, blood, yeah, I mean, it could be family, it could be people close to you, but blood is usually represents a close connection, so these individuals could be family. People who know you really well, and that's unfortunate. Usually it's the people that um, know us really well that could be the ones that are the most, um, I don't know, poisonous, toxic, okay? They could be after your abundance or think that you're very abundant and want to, that could be their motivation. Um, they see you heading towards abundance and want to come in and get that for themselves or get a bit of that, like the rats. Remember I said the rat like nibbles at your heels and to make sure that doesn't happen. So let's look at the Ten of Wands. Candle. The candle is of course showing you the way even though you're burdened you have the light of the candle and it's also wishes. It's right above the moon card which I talked about dreams so you're going to be able to see your way through the dark, okay? You've been burdened, but you've got a candle guiding you in that direction, in the direction that you need to go, okay? Or the candle is going to shed light on who these rats and snakes are, okay? And it, you'll no longer be burdened. That could also be it. A couple more for Ten of Wands, please. We have the foot. Yeah, you just have to keep going. Keep moving. Keep uh, Stay on your journey. Your, your way has been lit. Your way has been shown to you by the divine. Um, it's been a long journey. But, you know, just keep going. And no, feel good about yourself. You've done it on your own. All of this is on your own. Okay? And a shell. You are protected. Okay, this card came out as well yesterday. You are protected on your journey. You are receiving guidance from the divine and you are protected. Okay, what is this Six of Cups about? What is this energy from the past? Spiders. Okay. We have the broom. And we talked about the broom clearing out negative energy. Maybe it's the spiders or the cobwebs from your past, old thoughts, old beliefs, old way of being, old creations. You know, spiders sort of spin their webs and create their world. Maybe it's time to clear out this web from the past that you've been caught up in, okay? Um, the 
we've got the moon again. So the moon in this deck is very similar to here. Clear out the cobwebs from the past so that you can follow your dreams, okay? You're dreaming of the day where you are no longer caught up in a web of deceit. And you have your tree. Again, the tree could be about family because it's about roots. It's also about the tree of life. So there's a rebirth of well as well. You know, the tree gets its energy from the roots. It grows the leaves and this whole cycle continues in the fall when they drop. You know, so this is about a new cycle. Okay. Maybe also time to put things from the past behind you. Okay, it seems to be a running theme. But the tree is about um, regrowth, rebirth, right? It regenerates every year. So clearing out the cobwebs is really going to be helpful. Clearing out the web of deceit from the past is what I keep kind of hearing. What is the Ten of Cups? Okay, so we have, again, a rebirth. I mean, it's pretty clear what the fetus represents. It, it's about rebirth, something new, innocence. Um, but yeah, this is what you're focused on right now, your family. You could be a parent, maybe with children. You're focused on creating abundance for your family, okay? That's what you're focused on right now. And we have the bell. The bell is about ringing in good news. You know, these, uh, what are those guys with the, the town criers? They always have the bell and they call out the events of the day. There's news coming in about your abundance. You may be worried that this news is going to be delayed, but there is news coming in. Stay protected. Just clear the negative energy. You know, this keeps coming up. This was, came out yesterday as well. Um, it's below the broom. So there is news, good news coming. Once you clear out all the negativity, but stay protected, you know, burn your sage, do whatever you need to do. <laughs> so that this good, this good stuff can come in, okay? What is the Page of Swords? Harp. Um, whatever this news is, it's going to bring a sense of harmony. Um, harps are also, I think of angels, you know, it's angel music. So you're protected. You're being guided by the divine, definitely. But there's harmony coming in your life, okay? Even though you may think that this um, news may be not coming in as quickly as you want, you know, Find peace and tranquility while you wait, okay? There's a wall. More protection. You know, this is about boundaries, healthy boundaries, okay? Don't take it as you feel like you hit a wall. You know, you, you just have to keep going. But I think in this case, it's more about just healthy boundaries, maintaining your peace and your tranquility, um, putting healthy boundaries up. To, against these people that are trying to hold you back, these snakes and rats, okay? They can't get through a brick wall. Once you go through the ritual of clearing your, your room, your home with the broom, and sweeping out all the corners and the negative energy, nothing will be able to get back in that's not wanted, that you haven't invited in, that you haven't allowed in. And herbs. Okay, again, this came out yesterday, herbs and sage. They're very powerful tools for protection. So, yeah, keep them around. Keep them around. There are a lot of herbs that, um, that you can use, you know, um, even incense. Look, and this just flipped out. This came out yesterday, too, the antidote. Okay, building your wall, healthy boundaries, could be the antidote, the fix for this negativity, the spiders, the snakes, the people that don't have your best interest, these people that are trying to hold you back. You know, you have the antidote. You've learned how to protect yourself, okay? So that you can focus on your family and your abundance. 
what is the moon about? Dragon. Magic. You know, you're dreaming about dreams. Dreams can be very magical. Um, maybe, you know, they're mythical beings, dragons. So, yeah, there's an element of magic here, an element of the unknown, because we can't see in the dark. Um, but there's a myth here, something mystical here. Um, maybe that's what your gifts are. You know, you're, you're magical, you're mystical. And that's what you've been dreaming about. Maybe you see mystical creatures, mythical creatures in your dreams. Okay, and if you do, take it as a positive sign. Listen, yeah, listen to, listen to these, this magic. Listen to what's singing in your heart. Um, the drag, I mean, it goes back centuries. This is old magic, okay? So make sure you listen. Record your dreams too. You may be getting a lot of information or downloads in your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Try to write down uh, the dreams that you have so you can refer to them later. Um, you'll find some really good information and guidance can come from your dreams, but I get this sense that something is trying to communicate with you through your dreams. The heart, yeah. It's just telling you to love yourself, okay? And protect your heart. Um, you know, and watch your health too. Some of you might be experiencing heart problems, but just listen to your soul, listen within um, to what your soul and your body needs and make sure that you look after yourself in order to follow your dreams, okay? This Ace of Wands, which is the new venture, new way of life, some of you may be expecting. I mean, the Ace of Wands is about a pregnancy and a rebirth, but we do have the fetus, so maybe some of you are expecting. And you're concerned about making sure your family has what it needs to survive. Maybe there are people in your lives that aren't supportive. Maybe they're trying to just hold you back or... or block your way, but you have the light, you have the candle, you are being shown the way, you are being guided, spoken to, here we have the hat again, this is like the magician card, okay, the ability to take your skills and all of your knowledge to bring about this rebirth, I mean, but basically I hate to say it, it looks like these snakes and rats can be re are really close to you, okay, I think it's within the family circle. So just be careful um, if this resonates. You know, don't feel guilty. Set your healthy boundaries. You don't need that toxicity in your life. Just stay focused on what you need to do for your family, okay? Yeah, because you're going through a transformation. You have the moth, and the moth is always guided or um, drawn to the light, okay? So... Yeah, you've got the candle showing you the way. You are the moth. You're heading towards the light. Okay. Yeah, but unfortunately, I mean, sometimes I just got to read the messages as they are. It sucks when it could be family that's toxic, that's poison, you know. Uh, sorry about that if you guys are dealing with that. But just stay strong. Go with the flow. You know, just go with the flow. Water's very cl uh, cleansing, very purifying. Make sure you drink your water, okay? It's right here next to the heart. So, like I said, some of you might have some health problems. Drink plenty, make sure you're getting your water and staying hydrated, but go with the flow in this new venture. Be open, this is all about transformation, okay? We talked about um, going through a metamorphosis yesterday in yesterday's reading as well, so. Um, yeah, unfortunately, um, the loudest message that I'm getting is family could be an issue, um, but you, you got to set your boundaries, clear out that energy, clear out the toxicity from your lives, and then you'll see this transformation take place. Because right now, some of you may be feeling caught up in this web of deceit. Okay, so let's use the 
work your light oracle just to get some more advice about how you can move forward. Ancestors, spirit guides, angels, higher beings. What advice do you have for moving forward and getting past this situation, clearing out the negative energy? What advice do you have for clearing out any and all negative energy that's holding us back? Thank you. Take a break, okay? A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So just remember that what you're going through right now, this is your life's work. Um, to maybe be reborn, start something new, it's something that you're passionate about, but it's going to happen over time. It's, a, it, it's your life's work. So don't feel like you have to be running on a treadmill all the time. It's okay to take breaks. It's okay to relax. Look after yourself, okay? This isn't a race. <laughs> if you race, if you rush it, you may miss some important information. Take time to listen, okay? That's really key, listening during meditation, but I really think in this case it's about listening to your dreams. Please don't forget to record your dreams. And what else? Yes, just say yes. It's happening, okay? Yes to this new beginning. Yes to focusing on yourself. Yes to focusing on your family. Yes to working on yourself, taking care of yourself. Okay? It's a positive reading. It's just identifying, you know, where you have to kind of protect yourself. Okay? I just want to make sure we got into that today. The ever unfolding rose. Cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Okay, so yeah, we all go through these things and it's here touching the Ten of Wands, which is the card of burden, okay? So, you know, we all go through life and the things that happen to us in life are meant to teach us. You know, life is like a college course. You know, people in the Indigenous communities call it the medicine walk, okay? Life is just one big, long college course, but it's not something that's meant to hurt you or happen to you. It's happening for you so you can grow. Okay. So you can have this metamorphosis, this transformation. Okay. So just stay positive. Just know that everything is happening in your best interest. It may have been a burden, but just keep going. Don't forget to take your breaks, set up your healthy boundaries and, um, yeah, you're going to get there. So anyway, um, thank you for joining me. If this resonated, please like, share, and subscribe. I think it's a shorter video. That's because I'm getting a little more comfortable. So I might add in more elements as I go along. But um, thank you, everyone. I appreciate your patience again. And we will see you soon. Okay? Love you all. Bye.